Greetings everybody. Hey, this is my first top since the passing of shoestring and it makes me acutely aware that I am very fortunate uh, to be able to be enjoying the outdoors and riding trains and uh, I know what that meant to Mark. Uh, I'm concerned a bit though that his passing sort of marks a flaw, highlights a flaw in our inability as a country to come together and figure out some way to make health care uh, and mental health care uh, easy, inexpensive, and available to all. Um, I suspect that, and I don't know, I don't know the details, I just suspect that Mark wasn't fully in control of everything there at the end and that kind of thing can happen to any of us and the ability to get that taken care of uh, isn't always easy and you know i'm not sure if it would have changed the outcome or anything else but uh, i do hope that somewhere along the line that health care in particular mental health care just becomes second nature for all of us at some point Anyway, uh, I do appreciate the ability to continue on and so I feel a little responsibility to sort of do this on uh, Shoestring's behalf. Rest in peace, Shoestring. So before I start this video, I'm sorry for that little teaser. There is a, <laughs> there are chapter markers in the description if you want to skip ahead to any point rather than listen to me blab. But I have to, uh, I'd be remiss not to mention some people that I ran into and I used Amtrak some in this hop and I ran into some fans of the channel, uh, Peter and then uh, Warren and uh, James Van Winkle, uh, all three of these folks, uh, wonderful people. I enjoyed uh, conversing with them, rail fans and everything else. So uh, it was great. And then when I came back, Greg uh, Kulin, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Greg, sorry if I'm butchering that, uh, had sent me a book. And this is a trackside guide for uh, Canadian Railways. So it's the Canadian Trackside Guide published in 2024. And I don't think these are published very often because they are incredible. Oh my God, everything you can imagine is in this book. All the locomotives, there's train identification, every bit of track is, is covered in here. I mean, it really is one of the most unbelievable reference manuals uh, I have ever seen, covering everything to do with Canadian railroads, including Canadian National and what is now uh, Canadian Pacific, Kansas City Southern, or CPKC, or whatever they're calling it now. So yeah, uh, Greg, thank you so much. This is just an incredibly valuable resource. If you're a rail fan, in Canada in particular, you have to have one of these, that's for sure. But thank you so much. So yes, I appreciate all of the fans of the channel. So I caught out, uh, I hopped, on Amtrak to get down to Fort Madison because I've been wanting to get a pretty decent shot of that bridge in operation. And I managed to do an okay job this time. Still not what I want, but but anyway. And then I uh, rode on down to see my brother in Wichita, Kansas. And it was a great trip and just had a fantastic time in Wichita. And uh, seeing my brother and his fiance and, and their friends, it was, uh, it was awesome. Uh, I needed this badly and uh, glad to have, have gotten to go. And then I took Amtrak back because I needed to get here for medication. I'm on a new diabetes medication. And damn it, the train was so late, I should have just caught out. I, I basically more or less wasted, <laughs> wasted my money on a ticket. I mean, it was comfortable. It was comfortable. Don't get me wrong about that. And, uh, and uh, I did enjoy uh, meeting Warren along the way. But anyway, uh, on with the video. Take care, everybody. Oh, that's my campsite last night. I'm just 
putting everything back in now. Back in the pack, get ready to go video this bridge. It's going to be opening today pretty soon because there's a barge coming. Let's hurry up and wait with barges and bridges as well as trains. This double stack just pulled in and stopped for a crew change. It's headed the direction I'd want to go, and if I were in a hurry, I'd be on it. But I really want a Z train. These things uh, headed uh, west, south and west, end up occasionally stopping and working Gardner, Kansas, in a motor facility. And I don't want any part of that. Trees are budding out here, so it's been nice, apparently. Helicopters ready to go. Those are always fun when you're a kid. You know, somebody seems to have lost their bedroll along here. Still rolled up. That's unfortunate. Be a shock to arrive at your destination without it, or worse shit, have to need it in the middle of the night. Passenger 45, Freight 40. It's kind of cool how the Santa Fe incorporated their logos into their buildings over the years. Behind the shot, the Z shy alt needs coming up stronger right now.
Yes. Well, as soon as the bridge is closed back up, any trains trapped in the yard start rolling this way. And uh, so there's usually a couple, couple trains ready to rock and roll. Just stretching out for a little afternoon nap. I put on my sunscreen. 110 SPF. <laughs> I don't want my new skin getting damaged if I can help it. But it seems to me like any number higher than 110 is going to be taking a tan away from you. But anyway, I'm just waiting, waiting my, biding my time here, waiting for a Z train closer to dark um, and uh, or at least late afternoon I don't want to go through Kansas City in the daytime if I can help it well, if this looks like a Z I might hurry up and get on it shape. I didn't have time to throw my coveralls on. I'll get them on once we get out of town. Jesus, wasn't that far. This thing stopped right in front of me. I'm an old man. <laughs> old man. Wow, that's taking a beating right there. That shit's hazardous, man. You get a finger between that bar, which normally is up against there. You get a finger in that, not good. You know I'm gonna need this jacket later. But we'll just leave it out. My nose is running like crazy. I think I'm allergic to old leaves or something.
up on top of those clouds and be smooth as glass and you could zigzag around past them. It was a lot of fun.
it's windy. Very windy and chilly. I think a cold front came through here. Still inching our way to La Plata. <laughs> Oh.
so whenever I roll through Kansas City and see the iconic Western Auto sign that is such a part of Kansas City, it brings back such fun memories for me. My father bought me an English racing bike from a Western Auto outlet in Wichita for, I think it must have been Christmas when I was eight years old. Oh, I love the bike. sawing logs there. I could hear another train honking. It made me wonder if we're letting Amtrak pass us here maybe.